What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking to get after it, get some critical hits with Inteleon in ranked regulation F. Inteleon has the sniper ability which boosts the damage of critical hit moves. On top of that, it's holding the rage call to boost its critical hit ratio. Furthermore, it's got Snipe Shot, a move that boosts its critical hit ratio. So we're looking to pair all three of those up to do massive damage with critical hits. Inteleon's over here rocking the Grass Terror type alongside with its other three moves, Ice Beam, Taunt, and Protect. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon and cannot wait to get crits with this Pokemon. But another Pokemon on today's team is going to be two support Pokemon. We got Thunderous for Terrain Control with Electric Terrain, Eerie Impulse, Thunderbolt, and Taunt. And we got Incineroar with Fake Out, Knock Off, Temper, Flare, and Protect. Final three Pokemon are going to be two special attackers, Raging Bolt and Landorus, and last but not least, we got Fire Ogre Pond to do some big time damage on the physical attacking side. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Sniper Inteleon. Hopping into our first match for today's video, going up against a Galarian Weezing, actually a regular Weezing, alongside with Reggie Gagas team. So they can lead both of them, pop neutralizing gas, and really get after it. But who should we lead, and how should we play this one? I could lead my fake out user, which I actually really like, but we won't have Intimidate, which is a little bit of a problem. So, Pokemon that really thrive without their ability, who would they be? Maybe Raging Bolt? Maybe you right here but i'm gonna need something oh i do have taunt with you which isn't bad but i'm gonna need something that can really help make this reggie gagas not a problem right i mean fake out will still be pretty solid ogre pond's not bad with attack boost i don't mind that i don't mind that um i do have encore which is pretty good i can encore pokemon later in the match so I, i'm gonna go ogre pond and second pokemon i could maybe just go in with my lando lando's not bad with the psychic move and Psychic Terror type. I always like Lando. Can't go wrong with Lando. Sheer Force Lando, I should say. Hmm. What is my player? I think I'm just going to still go Incineroar. I just think Fake Out is going to be such a good option for us. Especially forcing Pokemon to protect. And once they protect, we can pretty much just uh, force them to go into uh, Encores. Which is going to be pretty good for us. So I'm going to bring Sniper Inteleon and Choice Scarf Lando back in for final two Pokemon and we'll look to get after it but yeah this lead here if they want to lead Weezing and Reggie Gigas is going to be pretty solid for them so we're looking for ways around it looking trying to get after it let's see who they end up leading here we're hoping it's not Weezing and Reggie Gigas that's just such a strong combo it really is because Reggie Gigas when it gets rid of slow start man it's good man it's good so we're just going to lose our abilities and it is going to be them too so we can't intimidate no big deal didn't really lead in Cinema for the Intimidate anyway, even though it would be perfect up against Reggie. I guess I love its fake out option. So Ogre Pond, your ability is Mold Breaker, so you can't hit through abilities anymore. But there's no abilities on the field, which is pretty good. But from here, I think we just maybe Terrasilize and we just look to get after these guys, right? I think we just Ivy Cudgel this thing and we just fake out the Reggie Gigas. I think that's my play all day. Fake out the Regigigas and read out what they want to do. They probably have Sludge Bomb onto the Weezing, which is why I kind of want to Terrasilize too. Get rid of the Grass Typing on my Ogre Pond. We'll get an Attack Boost on top of that. And then we'll just start doing some damage. The Sludge Bomb into Ogre Pond. He doesn't really serve it too well. He doesn't really like But out comes the Terror Type from us. Let's do it. Is this considered a Terror Type? I don't even know because it's not a Terror Type. It's a Mask. It's a Mask Type, I guess. But hey, I'm still calling it a terror type. We're going to Terrasilize our boy here. He's going to end up Terrasilizing as well. He got cooking. Is this going to be Ghost Regigigas? Is this Ghost Regigigas? That's so annoying. Why do you have Ghost Regigigas? I mean, I guess for this instance right here. So Ghost Regigigas comes flying through here. Probably has ground move too, which kind of sucks. Fake out. Going to get missed. How much damage are we doing with Ivy Cudgel is the real question. Plus one boost it. Plus one boost it. Bop, big time damage. We love that damage. And if I can get rid of him, I do get to pop Intimidate. But I mean, I could double down on Regigigas predicting a potential Protect this turn, which could be good. Drain Punch is actually going to fly and just rip it in me. That's some damage. It's a bit too much damage. But I do have a Berry. We love a Berry. We love a Berry. We absolutely love a Berry. So I could Hard Swap here, save my Incineroar. He's going to go for the Sludge Bomb into the slot, which we soak rather well. But of course, you get the Poison. So the Poison comes out here. Um... 
Do I double down into Reggie Gigas here? I could. I could potentially. I do have knockoff, which is good. But I wonder if you outspeed Reggie Gigas. I really hope you do. The Strain Punch is scary. So I'm going to double down into Reggie Gigas here. Predict the Protect from the Weezing. I'm not sure if Instant or outspeeds, but that could be big time for us if we outspeed. Then I get off an Ivy Cudgel into that and a knockoff, which will be stabbed. Super effective. Take off its item. Potentially pick up a KO, which would be huge. Which would be huge. So let's just see what they end up doing here. I think they got to protect Weezing. If they do, I can always Encore it. Or I can just Ivy Cudgel finish it off next turn. Yep, there's Protect. Big time read for us, protecting or predicting that Protect all day long. Ivy Cudgel going to fly into the Reggie Giga slot. How much damage is doing? About half. A little bit more than half. Can you outspeed speed Incineroar? You don't. High horsepower flies through here. KOs, but still, I like this turn. I don't mind this turn at all. Because Knockoff has a chance to KO in here. And if my Ogre Pine dies and your Regigigas dies, we both use our Terra. I think it's a fair trade for us. Fair trade. It's definitely a fair trade. So now Weezing's out on the field. I would love to just dump on it and get rid of it. But now I can bring out my... Oh, no. I can't bring out my Sniper and tell you. Neutralizing Gas still on the field. It's so annoying. No Neutralizing Gas. But I could bring out you. You are not bad with Scorching Sands. Psychic as well. I like this and saving our Inteleon for the back end. I'm cool with this. So Lando's going to fly through here. They could potentially go into like Fluttermane here. Which if that's the case, we might just want to target into that. And no, they're just going to go into Lando or Tornadus here. It's not that bad. I mean, Scorching Sands would still come out here. Finish you off. And then we could just take off the item of you. Which I like. But do I really want a choice into a ground move? No, it's really. Not really. Would I rather go into a second move? I mean, ground stab. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and just go for a knockoff. That's going to be my play. Scorching Sand's going to fly. We outspeed. Should KO here all day. Get it on out of here. Intimidate's now going to pop, but it's not going to do too much. Especially up to this Landers. And are you going for a Bleak Wind Storm? Potentially. Potentially. So depending on who they bring out here, I would like to swap. No, they go for a Tailwind. No big deal. So they're just going to get some speed. Depending on who they go into, I might want to swap. But Knockoff doing some good damage. That's some good damage. That's some good damage right there. Big time damage from knockoff. They're gonna throw out their final Pokemon, which is probably Fluttermane, right? Oh, it's gonna be Urshifu. Dark Urshifu. The Scorching Sands, I don't mind. I'm just gonna do this, and I might just protect you, or I could swap. Now, I think our best bet is to just stay with our Choice Scarf. And just look to KO this thing. But honestly, this is kind of annoying. I wonder what they're gonna do here. I would have loved to just take out the uh, the Tornadus here. This is such a solid matchup. This is such a solid matchup. But I don't know if our Inteleon is going to be able to do anything here. It's going to be tough for our Inteleon. It's going to be real tough. Because I feel like once we throw it out there, it just get, it's going to get doubled down on. Too. Bleak Wind Storm. Wicked Blow. Going to do some big time damage. But we're really hoping that maybe this Choice Scarf Lando can outspeed. But it doesn't. It doesn't. So Wicked actually one-shots us. That's absurd. And... Honestly, this might work out in our favor because I don't think Bleak Windstorm can KO. I do not think Bleak Windstorm can KO. And it does. That, oh, man, that KOs. I was going to say, if that doesn't KO, we just knock off and then it turns into a 2v1 and we have a hot shot at winning this game. But now I'm forced to go into you. And yeah, now it's pretty much over because, again, they just double down into us. So solid match number one. They're going to take the win. We don't really get to use Italian, but I just needed one of my Pokemon to pretty much eat up a shot. I was really hoping Incineroar would eat up that shot. Let me see your EVs, dog. Let me see your EVs. Oh, you're boosted all the way into attack. Makes sense. Makes sense. Special defense and defense are average now. And that's why this thing was doing so much damage. This thing is a damage build. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Makes sense why that knockoff did so much damage onto this Tornadus. But from here, it's pretty much over. I am going to go for a snipe shot. Look for like a one-hit KO here. Maybe they make a bad play. Maybe they miss an attack or something. A Wicked Blow flies through here, and that's just KO me in one shot. This thing's got to be choice banned. This thing's hitting like a truck. But 0-1 to get things started. Let's go out to a second match. Look to use Inteleon a little bit more. Moving on to match number two. Wish we could have gotten some damage off with one of our three Pokemon at the end there. But Incineroar went down to Bleak Windstorm. Landers got one shot it, and Inteleon got one shot it. Choice banned Urshifu. Plays no games. But we're going up against a Bax Caliber team with Urshifu again. And then on top of that, they got Fluttermane, Moogus, Raging Bolt, and Incineroar. So a pretty strong team, right? 
a pretty strong team here. I might go into Incineroar here. I do like it, and I kind of like it with its big time attack power, but I believe they're going to go into Incineroar, making me not want to go into Incineroar because he is special attack or physical attacking. So maybe Inteleon's not a bad lead here. I'm going to end up going Inteleon, and I could also go in with Thunderous. Thunderous not going to be bad. Eerie Impulse, Electric Train. I can taunt here as well. So if they go into Amoongus or even like Buttermane, I can Eerie Impulse that. That's something I really like. So you know what? I'm going to go in with both of them. Um, in the back end, I'm going to go Ogre Pond just because that Pokemon is so strong. And then last but not least, could go Choice Scarf Landers, which I'm kind of liking considering they have no Tailwind users. They probably only have Icy Wind users with Buttermane. The Choice Scarf on Orlando could be really good for us. That's the play. We're getting after. No Raging Bolt, no Incineroar. Looking for our first win here in match number two. But yeah, we were kind of thriving out in match number one. After we got rid of the Magigigas, I thought we had a hot shot at winning that match. But then Urshifu in the Tailwind. Wicked Blow, Choice Ban. It had been Choice Ban, right? Just the damage output was absurd. So we're going to throw out our first two. It's going to be Urshifu and Fluttermane. Water Urshifu. So with these Pokemon out here, I actually kind of like this. Could go for a fighting move. They could do some big time damage. Protosynthesis is going to pop. I could protect. Um, I'm definitely going to want to Eerie Impulse that. That What's it called? That Fluttermane. And I might just Snape Shot it too. I might just Snape Shot it. And I'm just going to Eerie Impulse this. But they might swap the Urshifu. They don't. So Eerie Impulse flies. I go for a Thunderbolt next turn into that Urshifu. We do get a nice big time minus two on a special attack. So Icy Wind connects. They're going to outspeed. Who are you going after? gonna close combat my Inteleon. I'd be upset if you don't. I'd be real upset if you close combat my Inteleon. I'm trying to use him today. He's gonna U-turn. That's fine. I don't mind the U-turn because I soak that. I soak that. So U-turn pivots kind of leads me to uh, to know that he's Choice Scarf, right? Because usually non-Choice Scarf or Shifus don't run U-turn. So every impulse into the flutter. Man, he's gonna bring out Raging Bolt. Snipe Shot's gonna fly. Bang. Big time damage with the crit. So crit's doing some big time damage here. I think I just protect this turn. And I believe I can Eerie Impulse you, right? I believe so. I'm going to be upset if we can't. But I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'm definitely going to give it a try. But I'm just going to protect Inteleon here. And I believe I can Eerie Impulse this thing. I can. Okay, I was going to say. Because I know it's an electric move and that's an electric type. Moves like will o -Wisp wouldn't work. So, that's fine. Icy Wind's going to stay flying. And what are you going for, Raging Bolt? I, I would think you would double down into my Inteleon here. It just makes the most sense. So area Impulse cooked. Are you going for Calm Mind? You're going for E-Web. So you're looking to slow me down a little bit more. Um, I could maybe go into a Grass Tower just to get like one more turn here. But honestly, just Eerie Impulse and you again would be good. So you know what? I'm just going to go Eerie Impulse. And I'm going to double down with Ice Beam. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. I'm going to double down with Ice Beam because I don't want E-Web KO. -ing. And I would think you would be going for another Icy Wind potentially here. Yeah, are you choicing an Icy Wind? You're spamming Icy Wind. You're just spamming Icy Wind. So looking to maybe get a crit with Ice Beam, that could be pretty awesome for us. And if you get a crit with E-Web, I'm going to be upset. Cool, I'm able to soak. The speed is dropping. I'm slow as can be. And Ice Beam gonna fly. So Ice Beam flying out here. Damage is okay. Nothing crazy. And I think from here. I think from here we just maybe go for a protect. And we just KO you. So I'm gonna look to KO the Fluttermane here. They're not gonna swap, which is great for me. I don't I don't mind you not swapping. I don't mind you not swapping at all. Stunnerclap's gonna come through here. We block it up. Actually, it's just gonna fail. And Moonblast is going to fly in this slot. Can you soak this? I was going to say, you should be able to soak this. And Thunderbolt finishes you off. So we have a minus four. We have a minus four Raging Bolt right now on the field. And if we can leave that on the field, I actually really like it. But my Pokemon are super slow right now. Super slow. As slow as can be. They're going to die out this next turn. Chances. Right? The chance is that we die out next turn. Max Caliber comes out here. Um, can I do anything here? I mean, Ice Beam would be our best bet. I could Taunt, maybe. But no, nah, I'm just going to try to throw another Ice Beam. You might Thunderclap into me if you Thunderclap into me. No big deal. And from here, would Electric Terrain do anything? Would it help out any of my backhand Pokemon? No, not really. Okay, so I'm actually kind of cool with this. I'm, I'm cool with you guys dying here. 
So we know their final Pokemon. We know what they are. They could end up swapping Raging Bolt. So I'm going to go into a Thunderbolt into this slot. In case they do. And they don't. I was going to say, if they swap Raging Bolt into Urshfu, Thunderbolt could at least do some damage on the Urshfu. But chances are Bex Calibur outspeeds and he's just going to pick up KO, right? <clears throat> I was going to taunt him too. I was going to taunt him too. I was going to taunt him too. That's a little upsetting. So luckily we got some speed cooking with our Pokemon in the back end. And that did maybe negative one damage. That thing did not move. That did not move. So from here, I got to kind of guess what Terra type he has, right? I kind of got to guess it, right? Because he's probably going to Terrasalize the Max Calibur. Um, Ice moves are scary. I'm probably going to have to Terrasalize my Lando here. Just so we can soak up a shot. But Lando wasn't even able to show a couple wicked blows. So I don't know if it could soak up whatever else it has to offer. Could just go Ivy Cudgel. Terra, yeah, that's gonna play it safe. So that's what I'm gonna do. This little Ivy Cudgel Terrasalization here. Little put the mask on. So Inteleon got some work done here. I liked its damage output. Um, Ranger Bolt's low on special attack, so I'm not too worried about that. I think just going straight into an Ivy Cudgel here is probably gonna play. And maybe just a Thunderbolt into this slot again, just in case he wants to swap. Just in case he wants to swap. Yep, there's a swap. The swap comes out here, and now I wonder. I wonder who he wants to attack, because this thing is Choice Scarf, which is a little bit of an issue. A tad bit of an issue, because he can just KO me with Surging Strikes next turn. He can just KO me with Surging Strikes. Should have made the read and just go for Horn Leech. Well, that could have been big time. That could have been big time. So he put on the mask. Kind of hurts the soul, because now he can just KO me next turn. Let's see how much damage we can do in the back caliber here. Unless you're going to protect back caliber. No, you're not. So attack boost plus one. He's plus two with Sword Sands. How much damage are we doing here? Just KO it. Let's go. That's a big time KO because now Thunderbolt goes into the Urshifu slot. Just like I planned it. And is this going to KO? Do some big time damage? It KOs. Let's go. Big time plays from Jeans. This is why This is why we Thunderbolt into the Raging Bolt slot. That's exactly why. That is exactly why. In case the swap comes out. And it did. And it did. So that's big time for us. Now we're sitting in a perfect position where Raging Bull's just chilling here. I can hear Impulse and Prankster, and we can wrap this one up. We can wrap this one up. Wrap it up. Eerie Impulse puts you minus two. I'm not playing around. Get it all out my face. GG's to our opponent. So we're going to go one and one so far. I like that. We got to use Inteleon here in match number two. Drop the snipe shots, putting Fluttermane down to low HP. Ice Beam doing decent damage to a bulky Raging Bolt. And I wonder what they're going to try here, because it seems like they're going to try something. They go for a Thunderclap into my Thunder slot, which is not working. So I'm popping Eerie Impulse. Eerie Impulse, such a powerful move, yo. Special attackers stand no chance when Eerie Impulse is on the field. Stand no chance. We got Raging Bolt minus two. Ivy Cudgel almost KOing. And guess what I'm going to do here? I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. The exact same thing. I'll be surprised if they don't cancel. And there's the cancel. So one and one. Let's go look for a winning record in match number three. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our third and final match for today's video. Let's use Inteleon a little bit more. Look to grab ourselves a winning record. We are standing at one and one. And I think maybe leading Inteleon could be pretty good for us, right? It could be pretty good for us. Because if they do lead Rillaboom, I could just Terrasize Inteleon into grass. Start to get after it that way. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I like it. Plus, us team will be super effective. But Pokemon that they do have. Sneasler. They have Frigorath. It looks like they're going to potentially pop Trick Room. They don't have to, though. Because they do have Urshifu. Huh. Should I lead Raging Bolt? They have Combine Rage Bolt. I don't think this one does. I would love for it to. But it doesn't. I could maybe just go these two. Because Rising Voltage will do double damage in the Electric Terrain. So I could just set Electric Terrain. Look to get after. That's not bad. That's that's not bad, but I think they just lead a fake out user, right? Fake out's gonna be great. Fake out is gonna be great, but I definitely wanna go into them too. We're gonna go Inteleon in the back end, and last but not least, I don't think we want Choice Scarf Lando. I think we'd rather have Ogre Pond. Hmm. This is tough. This is real tough for us. I think we'll just go Ogre Pond here. I think we'll just go Ogre Pond. So let's see who they want to end up leading here. Again, this one's going to be tough because if they just lead a fake out user with Trick Room user, they pretty much set up Trick Room for free and then Ursaluna could eventually come in here and, and just be, be a big time threat. But I do have Eerie Impulse. 
but I can't use it if Armor Tail for a grip is there. That's just such a good ability. It's so broken, to be honest. And they're just gonna go Frig Rap Ursula, which I don't mind. I mean, I definitely should set terrain here. I should 1000% set terrain here. And maybe just start attacking this for a graph with rising voltage. Because I got the Protosynthesis boost. Which is going to give us a special attack boost to him. What terror type are you? Show me your electric. You are. Oh my god. Yes. Please. 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 Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Rising voltage into electric terrain. In or stab with terror boost it. I think this takes out for Riggies. And if it takes out for Riggies, it's massive. Because then I can eerie impulse that thing next turn. I don't care if, if my boy dies out here and he wasted Terra for one turn. If I KO for a graph, this is a this is a W turn. It's a W turn. So let's see. Protect comes out from Ursuline. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Electric terrain gets set. Rising voltage is double damage. Plus stab. Plus booster energy. I did not say booster energy. And a terror type. Come on, get rid of this freeze. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Delete it. Delete it. It's gone. Delete it. We just deleted it. Get it all out my face. Huge turn for us. Massive turn for us. Massive turn for us. Massive, massive turn for us. That damage output is insane. I kind of want to do some calculations for that. But I don't really know how they stack. I'll do my, my own calculations. Because rising voltage, double damage plus stab. I don't know if stab comes before double damage. All that stuff, but it's just absurd. It's just absurd. But they're gonna bring out him. I think it's a safe play. It's just the eerie impulse you. And then just look at this real quick though. This rising voltage is base 70. Double damage from the terrain, which is 140, plus stab, plus terror, which is like 280, plus booster energy, which is like a 1.5 times multiplier. It's absurd. It's absurd. But from here, I could just go thunderclap, but I mean if you go for like a tailwind here. This is going to be a problem. So I'm just going to go Eerie Impulse into another Rising Voltage. And they just cancel the match. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video. So guys, didn't really get to use Inteleon too much here in today's video. Went 2-1. Didn't really use it in match number 1. Got it out on the field. But it got dumped on. Match number 2 did rather well. Critting with the Snipe Shot. Dealing some nice damage with Ice Beam. That's really all we use it for. And then match number 3, Raging Bolt stole the show. Thunderous, Raging Bolt. We love it. We love it. But still, it seems pretty strong. If you guys want to try it out, rental code is at the top right hand corner. Test out Inteleon. I'm telling you guys, this thing can hit like a truck. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you can run all of my videos. Good lad. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.